All right, so uh, today I thought I'd give the uh, wide eye functionality on this Latitude uh, E7440 a little test run. Uh, but before I get started, I thought I'd point out that um, you know if you're looking at one of these Ultrabooks or any any new laptop, it's important to uh, check into the hardware. This one happens to have the Intel dual band wireless uh, AC7260 wireless adapter uh, in it. Uh, so you want to make sure that e even, if, even if you're buying a Latitude E7440, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've got it configured correctly to do this. So and uh, I've updated the uh, Intel um, drivers, the wide eyes drivers and software on this machine as well as uh, on my PVT3000 uh, Netgear push to TV device, I've also installed the latest firmware. So let's see if we can get them to connect here. And we're just going to run a couple of simple tests. Okay, it does find it immediately, so that's a good sign. Okay, I've got to enter the uh, security code. If you're like me, uh, I've been following the Maricast wide eye thing for quite a while and uh, a lot of the reviews that I've read about and uh, seen haven't been that great. There's been a lot of lag that's been mentioned. Um, but so far my test with this uh, E7440 and the push to TV uh, 3000 has been, has been pretty successful. So here we are. Okay. So in the audio I'll, is, uh, I'll just note is coming out of the uh, TV not the computer. So let's just uh, quickly run through this uh, browser test. Okay, so you can see uh, in that little test, uh, things were pretty, pretty close. Hardly noticeable that any kind of a difference. Okay, so. Uh, those two tests right there, I mean, that's something that I could live with. I mean, I could use a computer and have that as my main display and, and uh, call that functional. So let's try something with a little bit more um, data going through to it. And I've got this uh, NVIDIA uh, YouTube video. It's on high definition display right here. And I've got it at uh, 1080p. So uh, you get the idea. It's pretty responsive, um, much better than I was expecting to see. Um, I guess uh, one nice thing to, to note is that with this Netgear Push to TV, um, you know, it's not necessary to put that on your wireless. This is using Wi-Fi Direct. So um, basically, it creates its own Wi-Fi connection, um, which 
The nice thing about that is if you're in a larger um, network environment and you've got a lot of um, existing network traffic and a lot of wireless devices, um, you don't necessarily have to worry so much about that traffic interfering with your stream uh, because it's creating a Wi-Fi a wi direct uh, connection. So hopefully uh, this video here has been helpful. Um, I've been looking and watching a lot of the Wi-Dye and uh, Mericast videos on YouTube and th there aren't really that many out there. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do some more as more devices come along. Uh, you know, if you're looking again at any of these machines, be sure that you do your homework and make sure that the hardware you're buying in the computer will um, work and have this functionality because just because it's a new laptop or an ultrabook and those types of things, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have the hardware required to do this. Uh, and that same goes with phones and tablets. I mean, just, just do your homework. So hopefully it's been helpful. Leave questions and comments below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.